Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is lesson one, what are scaled copies? In this lesson, you need to be able to tell if an image is a scale copy or not, and then describe how you can tell. You'll know you're successful from this lesson if you can choose images that are scaled copies of the original, and you can compare the sides distances, angles, or points as a reference in explaining how you can tell if it's a scaled copy. Let's get into this. What is a scaled copy? So here you have an extremely rare pic of me dabbing. Here we have two pictures that are scaled copies. What do you notice about them? Here we have two pictures that are not scaled copies. What do you notice about those? A scale copy is just a version of the same picture that's larger or smaller. Okay, nothing else has changed. It wasn't stretched to make it wider. It wasn't squished to make it skinnier or taller or shorter. It was it's just a larger or smaller copy. So how can we tell if it's a scale copy? I have my original here with a scale copy and a non-scaled copy. Let's look at a couple of different things. So first, let's look at a diagonal across the picture. So this diagonal across the picture is pretty much the same. If you notice, it's kind of going through you know, the middle of my forehead, through the nose, and then down. If I look at the non-scale copy, it still goes through those same two spots of the picture, but the angle of that line is all of a sudden flatter. Okay, let's look at some other things. So in the original, we have these red lines that kind of show the angle of the arm. If I look at the scale copy, it is the exact same angle. If I look at the non-scale copy, and I were to copy and paste over what was already there, it doesn't go through the arm anymore. It's not following those same dimensions. If I were to compare a line that goes from an, uh, from an elbow down through one of the legs, okay, and then I look at the scale copy, it still goes from the elbow down straight through that leg. Looking at the not scale copy, I just copied and pasted it over, so like I didn't rotate it at all. Now, it went from an elbow, but it doesn't go through that leg anymore. Something's off. Okay. One thing to make sure of when you are doing this, rotation does not matter. So you're still going to have to kind of check. It makes it a little harder to tell, but it doesn't affect if it's a scale copy or not. Okay, So diagonal, still the same. That angle is going to be the same as the original arm. Okay, elbow through the leg would still be the same, and so on. Okay, and that's all there is of how to tell if it's a scale copy. Just look for different features and see if they are the same from the original to the copy. If they're not the same, it's no longer going to be a scale copy. Okay. In this lesson, we just talked about it, that a scale copy is a figure that looks exactly the same, just larger or smaller. On the left, all three Y's are scale copies of that original, or the original is a scale copy of the others. Okay, The W's, on the other hand, are not scale copies. The second one is wider and shorter. The third one is narrower, and but it's the same Scale copies should look the same, just larger or smaller. After doing this lesson, do you know how to choose a scale copy of the original? And can you describe some ways that you can tell if something is a scale copy or not? And that's all there is to telling if something is a scale copy. In the next lesson, we'll look more detail and proving that something is a scale copy.